Hi, in today's video we're going to talk about how Newtone intercom systems are wired in homes. There are two basic wiring schemes for Newtone intercom systems. You have what are called loop wired systems and they're often referred to as daisy chained systems and you have home run systems. Here we have an example of two virtually identical homes and they each have the same number of intercom stations. You have a master station in each kitchen. You have a front door speaker. You have four inside stations and a patio station. These are nice 1800 square foot, two, two bedroom, one bath homes with an optional den. Loop wired systems for the most part are models 470, IMA 516, 256162, the i600 system, the IM5006, and the IM5000. Home run systems are for the most part everything else. All three wire systems are home run. Those include the early vacuum tube based models like 2011, 2012, 2057, 2058. Anything that the model number starts with 20 is a three wire home run system. And three wire system, home run systems go all the way up through the very last true Newtone intercom system, three wire system, which is the IMA3303. They include models like the 2090, the 2540, and 42. And then you get into the IM series like 303, 313, there's IM203s, IM. 406s, SM428s, and then more modern systems like the IM and the IMA4006 and the IM and the IMA4406. These are all home run systems. The reason that it's important to understand this is if you're looking to upgrade your system or you're looking to do troubleshooting on your system, you need to know whether your system is home run or loop wired. So we're going to start with home run systems because home run systems are the majority of the systems that are out there. There is a rule about how systems have to be wired. Equipment, all of these models and more, that were designed to be installed in with home run wiring can only be home run. They cannot be loop wired. You cannot have more than one remote station on the same cable. Home run wiring is very simple. You have a master station, in this case it's in the kitchen, and from the master station to each of the remote speakers there's going to be a cable with wires in it and the number of wires and the type of cable will depend entirely on what system is being installed. So we'll draw the wires in And I suppose, like most installers, it could have been done neater than that, but it gets the point across. What you'll see in home run systems is that if you have one, two, three, four, five, six remote stations, back at the master station, when you open it up, you're going to have six individual cables because the cable runs home from each station. So that's a home run system. Again, equipment that's designed to be installed in a home run manner can only be installed in a home run manner. If you think you're going to be clever and this far bedroom speaker is too far away and you didn't buy enough wire and you think, well, I've already run a wire to this room, so all I have to do is take a wire from here and loop it over to here and tie it in, guess what? Uh, won't work especially on three wire systems. Absolutely, positively, will not work ever, no way. If you have a six wire system, you might be able to coax it into working, especially on some of the newer models like a 4006 and maybe a 4406, but you, you can create problems with the way the intercom functions. And the other thing is, you'll have no communication between this speaker and this speaker, so it's not recommended to do. Now let's look at loop wired systems. Loop wired systems are exactly what they say. Those speakers are all looped together on a single cable. 
I'm going to show you what a real world example of loop wiring would be like. One of the rules is loop wired system, equipment that's designed to be loop wired, can be loop wired, but also some of it can be home run. And in most installations, the layout generates opportunity to loop some speakers but home run other speakers. And in loop for in wiring for loop wired equipment, it's acceptable to loop wire and home run in the same system. So for instance, in this example house, if we're going to wire these three speakers, two bedrooms and a bathroom, the installer can take a single cable and run it from the master station to the first bedroom speaker and then loop from that bedroom speaker to the bathroom and then from the bathroom to the next bedroom. This is exactly how a loop wired system is done. You could conceivably, depending on the limitations for the model that's being installed, you can have as many as eight or nine speakers on the loop. For instance, if this homeowner bought the homeowner bought the option, he may have another patio speaker here off the master bedroom because they're going to put in a spa. So you could run another line from the master bedroom speaker to the patio speaker, and that's acceptable to do. So when the installer is wiring this house, what about this speaker in the den and this other standard patio speaker? Well, I suppose he could have run from the master to this patio and then to the bedroom. That probably would have taken more wire. And since they're con you're conserving your materials as much as you can, it certainly makes more sense in a lot of cases to home run from the master to the standard patio speaker. And of course, this den speaker, it's way off here in the front of the house all by itself, and it would, wouldn't make a lot of sense to loop it, so it's better to just home run to the den speaker. So here we have what would be in the real world a very typical installation where you have four speakers on a loop that run back to the master, but you have a patio speaker that's home run, and you have the den speaker that's home run. Also, we need to put back in our front door speaker. Front door speakers on all Newtone intercom systems are always home run back to the master. That goes across both types of wiring schemes when you do this. So it's important to understand the difference between loop wired and home run systems.